Nationwide assistance to help the southeastern states hit hardest by Hurricane Helene continues, as you can see behind us here. And that help is coming in different shapes, sizes, and species. NBC 10's Aaron Coogan takes us to Middletown to show how one local animal care facility is contributing to the relief effort. The goal usually after these kinds of events is to get those shelter animals out of the community. So if there are animals in the community that need to get into the shelter, there's space for them. Tonight, 14 new furry faces are getting comfortable in their new home here in the Ocean State. Come on, baby. The Potter League for Animals in Middletown accepting the multi-litter emergency transport this morning from partners at the Aiken County Animal Shelter nearly 900 miles away in South Carolina. We've actually been working with them since 2012. So when we knew they got hit by the storm, we wanted to reach out to make sure our longtime friends and partners could get some help if they needed it, and they definitely needed it. Hit hard by Hurricane Helene, the Aiken County shelter remains Somebody. without power tonight. The local intake hoping to alleviate some of the pressure as shelter staff deal with the aftermath of the storm. Being without power means not being able to wash beds, mm -hmm. toys, food bowls, like think, you know, the, the basics. The Potter League also rallying animal lovers across southern New England to aid in the recovery. So we put a call out to the community just a day in advance is all we had and we were just overwhelmed with the amount of support we got. Bags of locally donated dog food, beds and toys were also loaded back onto the Aiken County trucks to be brought back to the shelter. And still Potter League CEO Brad Shear says he doesn't anticipate efforts to stop here. The first thing we'll do when we uh, find homes for these is let Aiken know that um, we can take some more. Members of the first wave of incoming Helene animals are expected to be up for adoption as soon as this weekend. Reporting from Middletown at the Potter League for Animals, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.